Hey guys, Bridget here. In this video, we're going to talk about uh, widgets uh, in uh, Figma and uh, some of my favorite uh, top uh, widgets, uh, which are available for free. So without further ado, let's uh, jump right into it. So the very first one is going to be alignment scale. And uh, this one is uh, such a simple widget, but uh, it's uh, so powerful when useful whenever you're creating uh, brainstorming sessions with uh, your team, because it uh, enables you to have uh, a design project up uh, in uh, Figma and uh, you can actually uh, see what is the general consensus of the team uh, in terms of uh, agreement or disagreement on uh, any given topic. So this is such a, a useful widget, uh, which uh, I highly recommend you to check out. Now, the very next one is going to be a bit more technical. And this is for those of you who use Jira within uh, your design team. And uh, this one is going to be quite useful because uh, this widget uh, essentially enables you to use uh, um, and pull up uh, Jira projects uh, and uh, all of their associated issues into the canvas uh, to discuss and update as a team. So as they mentioned, it enables you to adjust uh, assignee, priorities, status, uh, issue type uh, right in uh, FigGem. So while this actually while maintaining your source of truth uh, in Jira. And uh, if uh, new to-dos uh, come up in a meeting, uh, you can capture them as a new issues in uh, Jira and even link associated designs from Figma. So this one is going to be quite useful for those of you who use Jira and I um, highly recommend you to check it out. The next one is going to be quite straightforward. It's called Timeline and this widget enables you to have uh, a Gantt chart in FigGem. So this is going to be especially useful if uh, as a team uh, you are looking to manage projects and basically visualize uh, timelines uh, with uh, Gantt charts. So this one uh, is going to be pretty straightforward, very useful if uh, that is uh, the case in your specific uh, scenario. Now, the very next one is called Jambot. And this one is interesting. Jambot is um, kind of like a widget that uh, has many different features within itself because um, you can use Jambot for brainstorming ideas, learn more about a specific uh, topic, uh, and uh, you can also get answers to quick questions. So as, as you can see, <laughs> this is uh, utilizing uh, AI, of course. So it uh, enables you to have all sorts of different uh, AI features within uh, FigGem uh, directly. Uh, it can also help you to write code, uh, summarize inputs uh, in your files, uh, rewrite content, uh, and uh, even turn content into a song, a haiku, or a joke. So there's a lot that uh, this uh, FigGem uh, widget allows you to do. And um, yeah, it's just a fun uh, uh, little widget uh, to utilize and integrate uh, within uh, your workflow. Now, the very next one is going to be quite straightforward and uh, it's a, a very neat app, which is a voice memo. Uh, sometimes we just need a, a voice memo instead of a text. And this is exactly why this widget was uh, uh, invented. It's uh, such a neat way to capture uh, voice memos directly into your files so that you don't need to store them in some external uh, website. And um, yeah, it's just going to make uh, life uh, easier if uh, you're a voice memo type of person or if you just need uh, the voice memo feature within uh, your FigGen file for whatever reason. Now, the very next one um, is uh, the pie chart. And uh, as designers, we love a pie chart for now and uh, again. So this uh, is uh, definitely the widget that is going to help us uh, uh, achieve that. Uh, um, again, they have the free version, which is going to be uh, enough for the very really most uh, case scenarios. They also have a paid version, but that is for more advanced uh, uh, features. So definitely pie chart, another cool widget to keep in mind uh, as uh, you go through this list. The very next one is going to be is, is 
extremely important uh, if uh, you're working uh, and uh, brainstorming uh, in a Teams environment, and that is the Paul widget. This is definitely a widget that I used uh, quite a bit uh, in uh, the past, uh, and uh, as the name suggests, it enables you to create polls directly in uh, FHM. So quite useful, quite uh, um, uh, a useful tool overall. I mean, there's not too much around uh, uh to say about it it's going to enable you to create votes and uh, collaborate in teams in a very easy way the next one on this list is uh, pun intended checklist which uh, is going to enable you to create uh, these very very nice uh, and neat uh, checklists uh, directly in uh, your figma files so this one is actually one of my favorite because it's um, the design is so clean, uh, everything is uh, so neat overall. And uh, you can see how you can also customize uh, this uh, widget in a very easy and uh, straightforward way. So definitely this one is going to be a strategic uh, planning widget that you want to keep in mind. The very next one is going to be Kanban, which uh, essentially enables you to plan your task. Uh, so you can add multiple Kanbans uh, within a page. And uh, as uh, you know, I'm a big fan of uh, Trello, so Kanbans had to make it to this list. And last but not least, uh, this one is more of uh, a funny widget it's a photo booth it's actually the most used widget so far on this list and it enables you to essentially take memorable team selfies as they describe and you can use this widget to for the icebreaker portion of a brainstorming session or you know whatever creativity <laughs> takes you on so that uh, that for this uh, list uh, and uh, i hope this uh, video was helpful if you want to learn more about uh, ui ux design uh, i have uh, over 900 videos on my channel entirely for free so feel free to check them out and i'll see you in the very next video